Hi guys, how's it going? Well, hmm, I've thought about making a video. But I don't even know what to say. Honestly. Honestly, I don't know what to say. Like, it would be I feel and I believe that it's been humane for me not to feel weighed down by what is happening, you know, in Nigeria. I do have the strength to say okay for the benefit of those that don't understand what's happening. This is what is happening. However, I'll just leave a link below to or explain it in the description box just to shed more light on what is happening, you know, or with more information but it's been two weeks now and i've not had the strength to pick up my camera and video something or shoot something because i don't even know what to say you look this is to 12 a.m and i haven't been able to sleep i've not been able to sleep well in the past weeks and i guess because so many things are on my mind and it is what it is, yeah. But yeah, yeah. You know, I'm kind of disappointed by so many things, by the most especially by the president's speech. You know, honestly, personally, I wasn't expecting him to say anything. I didn't think he was going to say anything. But it seems like you know we need to as a country youth we need to re-strategize and come back began better not with violence this is not me encouraging violence definitely condoning all those touts that have gone out to destroy businesses especially small businesses you know we're encouraging that but people who generally are predestined against the main characters of governance of police of the police force you know <laughs> it's just clear what the leader wants to do you know he has said what he said it is what it is but i don't believe we should give up that easily that's what i would say but what am i to just say that i don't even think this video will see the light of day i mean i'm just in my small corner of the internet on youtube saying what i need to say <laughs> You know, but it's just to encourage any one of you that probably will see this video. Don't give up, you know. Don't give up. Don't um let's not let let's not entirely turn the situation into jokes. Yes, the memes are nice, they're like a good break for us mentally and emotionally because we've been through a lot. Everything that's been happening has been emotionally exhausting. I kid you not. You know, but let's not just deter away from the original purpose the trigger why we there was a protest in the first instance you understand what i mean and yeah yeah it's easier said than done because i'm not in nigeria you know i'm out here you know i'm not in it but when even when i was in it i can't even say that i'm here so it's not even it's not changing the effect that all of these things have been on me but notwithstanding, if you have the opportunity to leave, I would say it again, please do leave. But don't leave on the premise that people are leaving. If you have the opportunity to go in Nigeria, grab it. If you have the opportunity, you don't know your analysis, you know, the spirit leads and you feel like, you know, if you leave, you are going to be able to grow. You're going to become that which you want to become. Please jump on the opportunity to leave. However, it's not everyone, and I'll say it again, I don't think it's everyone that has been proposed to, you know, relocate in that sense, right? But if you have the opportunity and you feel that inclining your heart and it's something that you really want to do, you know, not overthinking things, not being over logical, right? Because honestly, people come here and it's not as rosy as you think. People get here and it's a hit you know opportunities of one opportunities keep falling for them you know even their hard work smart work everything that they put in all their efforts into it works 
why it's not the same to some for some people people come here seek asylum people come here they're not just struggling they're rather better off in nigeria than here so in as much as everybody's looking to leave the country i would also i know privilege is not what you're going to hear or you're expecting to hear probably you're expecting to hear some encouragement leave 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 everything is rosy 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 i'm gonna come and yeah tell you everything is rosy i mean if you are a person that is close-minded not willing to accept other people's culture leaving your home country will not be as easy as you think it will be for you that's what i'm going to say relocating to a new place you know knowing fully well that you need to, you are that kind of person so probably inside out right you have to change from inside out you have to tell yourself you have to mentally prepare and it sounds so cliche but it's the truth you know you have to be mentally prepared you have to tell yourself that okay i'm moving to a new new environment definitely going to have to learn to learn and if you are not in that mind frame you, you're going to very find it very very challenging to fit in for lack of better words so i'm just here to encourage everyone please I mean, my go-to is, as much as possible, leave your home country, explore that people's culture. So I'm not even going to discourage anyone not to relocate if they have the opportunity. But at the same time, you have to think deeply if this is what is best for you, you know. Everybody's making memes now. They're shouting, they're coming, you know, coming to going to Europe, going to North America and all of that. But I don't, I don't want us to get carried away. Like, I, I've been too weak. I've been too weak to shoot any video i've been too weak to pick up my phone to say okay let me talk to everyone i just want to encourage everyone out there especially the youth because it's not easy like we are the change we we want to see that's it i don't even know how else to say it i don't even know what i'm saying even what i'm saying it will make sense <laughs> and i'm definitely going to upload this video of me looking like an old woman but i don't care because i feel like what i'm saying now is going to be beneficial to anybody right so what is the change that we want to see in ourselves right so yeah it is what it is you know it is what it is so you know, as, as much as possible let's try to yeah let's just try let's just try to encourage ourselves you know seek counseling if you do need counseling talk to people you know do not keep things inside and as, as much as you can. Do not keep things inside. Even if it's one person you feel like you can talk to about all of these things, about how you feel, feel free to talk to that person. Also keep in mind that people are also going through a lot, you know, but be sensitive to people around you. And I believe that at the end of the day, we're going to birth a new and better Nigeria, right? We're going to birth it. I believe that. So... Let's not let's not forget. I mean, that's what scares me. Us getting carried away and sidetracked, and not um, and not remembering the main reason why this this actually started a few weeks ago. So let's not forget the pain point that drove us to going out to the street to peacefully protest. You know, that drove the p the human beings and I mean, the wonderful people. You know, that went out even in the process lives were lost you know, let's not forget the reason why that was that, that that was triggered you know let's not forget it. it's it's the seed of discord that has been planted in our country is a deep seed it's been planted deeply into the roots of, of the foundation of the country so to get it out to get it out it's possible i believe so but at the same time, we're going to disturb a lot of things. And I think that's what is happening. Like, to actually uproot that seed of discourse, discord, it's possible. It's just that we're going, to up, we're, going to, we're going to disturb. We're just going to disturb the environment. We're just, like, literally uprooting a deep plant, a deep-seeded plant or tree in the ground. They're going to destroy the surroundings, you know? It just depends on how deeply that deeply rooted that particular tree has been planted into the soil. So that's exactly what is happening, you know. Seed of corruption in all ramifications, not even just financial corruption, ethical corruption, moral corruption, corruption at workplaces, you know. 
just cascaded down. Anyways, I'm just ranting and ranting and I'm sorry. I apologize that I don't have anything uplifting per se to talk about. I really don't like talking about things like because I feel like I don't know how to express myself the way I really want to be expressed or the way I really want to. So yeah apologies that this is not the kind of video everyone was expecting but i promise you i probably will shoot another video tomorrow or later today just to lighten the mood because too many stories going up and down but i i needed to get it off my chest first and i mean on that um i'll see you guys in my next video